Hi there, Baden Lucas, and welcome to October's Market Wrap. And I hope you managed to back a winner as we've just finished out the Melbourne Cup, of course. I did not, but I can tell you it was a fantastic month in real estate. We had over 20 new properties launch on the market for sale. And in fact, it was a very, very active month for our agents on a whole with over 20 properties selling also. Uh, so very, very busy time. We had two fantastic results. I just wanna to touch on two $1.5 million apartments selling in the CBD. So exceptional work by both Carey and Mark. And I do wanna to touch on the smallest sale of the year with Serena selling a car space in the Arkley, the building next door to where I am right now, selling for $49,000. I don't know about you, but I was really waiting to see how Serena was gonna manage those open for inspections on a Saturday with her car space. Of course, she sold it very, very quickly to an owner that wanted uh, another piece of real estate to be able to park a vehicle on. So what's happening in the market at the moment? Well, a lot of owners are trying to meet the timing demands as we get really close to, close to Christmas. So this is a great time to be launching properties in November, that five, six week campaign window. A lot of owners are already starting to think about what they're gonna be doing next year as well with owners committing to selling uh, in the month of January and even as far out as February already. So it's still a very, very active moment, uh, market. Buyers are very, very discerning, of course, but our team is working really closely with our buyers at the moment, really understanding exactly where they're at, what they can afford from a financing point of view. It's just so important that if you're selecting an agent, you're working with an agent that is really understanding what buyers are looking for. There's so much talk at the moment uh, in both the media and the Reserve Bank of Australia talking about houses maybe dipping next year. Our view is this. With it, we don't think the market from an apartment point of view will drop a great deal. And the simple reason is that we just didn't have that explosive uplift like a lot of suburbs did throughout COVID. So we are predicting that it'll be a relatively stable year as far as prices. So I hope that you take that confidence that we have at the moment into your negotiations if you are looking to buy. And of course, if you're making the decision to sell, our, our agents will only be too happy to hear from you uh, at the moment. Of course, last week we had the federal budget released. It was very, very property heavy from a new housing and an affordable housing with some massive $10 billion um, uh, committed to building affordable housing and over a million homes over the next five years. It sounds like a lot of work. Of course, what we didn't hear was whether or not the government would commit to tax relief as far as uh, the property industry and the certainly in industry commentary and the Real Estate of Institute of Victoria last week made some, uh, rele released a statement saying that the state government really needs to have a look at stamp duty and affordability to help with those people that are looking to either get into the market or upsize and downsize. That stamp duty is such a significant and probably hot topic as we approach the state election. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all from me for this month. I hope you're doing really, really well. As you run through to Christmas, the market's great. Get out there, see some other open for inspections, and I look forward to speaking to you next month. Cheers.